Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So life is all about changes. Nothing is constant in life. Everything is a variable. So changes can be good, it can be bad, but changes are inevitable. So for example, I switched from old, bloated, clunky XOR to this new modern Wayland. But many people in Linux community are still rigid. They are like stick to XR. They are using XFC. So unless you are just using TTY, you fucking weirdo, please just use Wayland and switch. Why? Because this is the future and we have to care about it. So what is Wayland? Now I know like you guys know, but you know what? Any noob can search what is Wayland and might end up on this video because of algorithm. So I have to explain. So if you are running like any GUI, unless you are a TTY user or like fucking weirdo. So you need some kind of um, like display server. So XORG is kind of like a display server, which is kind of like a middleman between your display and your desktop environment like uh, GNOME or XFCE. So yeah, so basically you need XORG, but the thing is XORG is old, it's bloated and it was okay so it was hard to add features and it lacked a lot of features so people what they did is the people same people who created xr now created this protocol called valent and you should switch to valent because this way this provides a lot of advantages so right now you if you open this website are we valent yet you can see that we are close to reaching to the point where Valent is 100% usable. But I want to tell you one thing, if you're just using terminal for almost everything, and if you're not using things like Discord or any kind of like, okay, even Discord is working completely fine in Valent, I don't know. I, I don't use Discord like uh, on desktop. I just use browser sometimes to open. So what I'm saying is that you can use Wayland if you just use terminal and MPV and only few tools and just browser. Okay, you can use Wayland. It's quite easy. And on this website, you can see almost everything is available on Wayland now. So yeah, so there are few myths people have that you cannot really share screen on Wayland and things like that. But right now I okay i had like this issue but i fixed it quite easily by just installing few packages so i am using hyperline which is kind of like um i, I can't say window manager but i have to say it's uh okay what should i say it's like a window compositor and it's okay let me review hyperline so hyperline is smooth it's really smooth look at these animation like oh god look at these so this is smooth so i think you guys should use hyperland because of the animations it got and i believe like one thing like which make hyperland really unique is the smooth animation and one another thing which i really like about hyperland is like the the animations are so smooth that i think animations is the biggest factor you should just move to Wayland and Hyperland specifically. So there are a lot of uh, like what you can do is so if you're using i3 EU, you can move to Sway or if you're using DWM, you can use to DWL because this is the mindset most people have. But what I'll recommend is don't move to DWL because you are using DWM and you know everything about XORG word, but you don't know anything about Wayland word. So if you use to move to like DWL, you will find a lot of issues. So so is like quite stable, but uh, okay, that's another word. I don't really um, endorse i3. But what I say is like Hyperland is kind of like unique. And I believe like Hyperland is kind of like a, it's it's something which is quite good uh, in Valent world. So why? Because, okay, so let me first talk about my software suite. So right now I'm using Hyperland as like a window manager and this terminal is foot. And this is like, the, instead of D menu, I'm using this menu, which is Wofi menu. And it you can customize it by just using CSS. And I'm using Vbar on the top. And um, that's it, like that's my software suite right now. So previously I had like D menu, I had ST terminal, I had, you know, like DWM and the bar was the default DWM bar. So you can have like config and dot config for all these software, which I just 
told you and you can also look into the ruvalentgate.com to see some other programs which you might need so here let me open hyperlink so it's a great name but a shitty spelling so hyperlink let me open so people who use Hyperland is are in love with Hyperland and especially Unix Pond community really love, love Hyperland and the reason is quite clear because it's really well written, it's written in C++ and um, it's one thing which I liked about Hyperland is it's really good out of the box solution. So if you are using like any uh, thing like DWL, you might have to do a lot of things but in Hyperland it it really solves all your problems by just using hyperland you you will solve like for example my touchpad like right now i'm using my uh this thing keypad okay key touchpad I, okay yeah touchpad and this is like working by default like a uh, three finger touch and everything is working by default in dwm when i was using dwm i used to do a lot of stuff by myself and it was a well stable system but it was quite static like sometimes when i had like multiple window on uh, I couldn't really do things like this, you know, like just arranging by myself, like, okay. So I, I needed a lot of patches and stuff. And in my SC terminal, I used to have like this issue, which I could have fixed, but I never fixed, which is like, if I uh, open some window, it, it kind of, so if I have some text like this text, it, it, um, it kind of like, okay, it, it kind of got ruined or something like that. Okay why I'm telling you it's not even window match related stuff but the thing which I'll recommend is so many people might face few issues if they switch to Valent one is uh, screen sharing so for that I found this really nice gist in Hyperland um, gist uh, screen sharing yeah this thing so I just followed this and instead of all this like after all this all, all you have to do is just install this Qt6 base package uh, you can find in the Hyperland wiki and you will find that if you're just using terminal for mostly everything and if you have like similar work environment like uh, mine then you will realize like you can easily switch to VLAN. it's quite simple now you might say why your rice is so fucking dull well i'm using oled display so th this is running in my laptop and in my pc i'm still using my you know like the old uh, dwm because fuck nvidia Okay, so but whatever. All right, so in my laptop, I'm using this for like more than now, oh, two weeks now, and it's working perfectly. So since I'm using OLED, uh, I just made everything black because in OLED the black pixels get turned off and uh, it looks really pretty. So from if you look from my eyes, it looks really pretty. If you look from screencast, it looks shitty. Okay, so let me open the website of Hyperlane and people uh, really love the developer of Hyperlane. I don't know why. I mean, I looked him up and he was quite talented. He was writing C++ like since he was nine and he really wrote Hyperlane in a like it's a quite active project. And yeah, I, I love it. Like I'm going to use Hyperland for sure, like at least for, so I used like DWM for two years. I thought like I'll use it my entire life, but now I feel like Hyperland is the thing which I'll use my entire life because it quite work. It's just like DWM, like I got the exact same thing, but I got some nice animations. And uh, yeah, it's, it's like introduction, which I'm recording right now. So yeah. What else I can tell you about this thing? I wrote some CSS by myself for like this, um, like this menu and this way bar. I added some icons. You can change the modules of way bar. You can figure it out, but maybe I'll make some videos about it too. Like just like I did for DWM. Now many people say it's so bad. Like you, you guys keep switching, but Truth is I used DWM for two years and it was working perfectly. I had no reason to switch, but the only reason I switched is because of Wayland and uh, I, it's better to just figure out quickly. So I had some few time. So this is not true. Like we always switch our stuff. Some people might, but in my case, like I just, uh, I literally use what I created for myself for two years and now I'm switching. So uh, maybe I do some tweaks uh, in my CSS and you know, my rice and after that, I'll use this for like, uh, I will write some script to auto install everything and I'll use it for like more than, I don't know, maybe like whenever I get bored, I might switch, but who knows, like okay, future is okay, fuck it. So yeah, one last thing I want to say is uh, 
you kind of have to leave your suckless mindset behind if you are using hyperline because hyperline actually require a lot of packages to get installed even this menu is like kind of like a gtk thing and this is also gtk thing so yeah if you are using to wayland in fact i feel like if you're getting modern and if you're moving towards some modern uh like uh, desktop environment and stuff like that in linux then you have to you know have to be like the resources are going to increase i don't have b top or h top or top okay top is always there so yeah resources users is going to get increased and you have to be aware of that so if you have like a shitty laptop potato laptop just stick with your ddl and that's much better but um eventually xorg will die and it's kind of like you won't get this animations that's all okay so that's the video on hyperline i will recommend you to read the wiki i read the entire wiki it have like a lot of cool stuff and i still i am facing one issue regarding this thing like changing wallpaper there is no good way i i found it yet so yeah i'll i'll look up and keep you updated uh, one more one last thing i cannot really type my shortcut to stop this recording because hyperland have some shitty not shitty actually it have like protocol not hyperland wayland have some protocol like security of uh, some window and stuff like that so there are some issues which i might get in future while doing something and i'll tell you but right now it all worked one more issue is you can't really share one window screen okay you have to always share your entire screen so that's another issue so that's it for this video i'll, I'll keep you updated